Part 1. White Clouds. Verdant Rain Moon. Tower of Black Winds. The ceaseless rains that satiate the verdant landscape of Fodlin are accompanied by fierce winds and mighty roars of thunder. This abundance of rain, sparkling as it falls against beams of emerging sunlight, is a constant reminder to the people of Fodlin that nature is ever wild and unpredictable. For when the rain finally does take pause, the clouds part and give way to a glorious rainbow. I have a new mission for you, Professor. I would like for you to take your students into Kingdom territory to eliminate some thieves. They stole a hero's relic from House Gautier of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, the Lands of Ruin. Their leader's name is Miklan. He is apparently a disowned son of House Gautier. This skirmish involves a holy relic and is therefore more than a single noble is capable of resolving. The hero's relics are immensely powerful weapons. We must meet this threat with adequate force. Unfortunately, most of the Knights of Seros are away from the monastery, purging the apostates of the Western Church. So we are entrusting you with this mission. After all, you wield the Sword of the Creator, which is more than capable of opposing any relic. The Sword of the Creator is a powerful weapon well beyond the other relics. You have nothing to fear. However, to ensure that no harm comes to the students, we will also send the Monastery's most skilled individuals to aid you. I must remind you that you are expected to conduct yourself in a manner befitting the wielder of that holy sword. Also, you should know that Professor Hanneman has been looking for you. That is all. I heard about our mission for this month. So, we are to eradicate thieves in Kingdom territory. I'm sorry for dragging you into the Kingdom's petty squabbles. This should not be your burden to bear, but my own. Thank you, Professor. Hearing you say that puts my mind at ease. Hmm? Your Highness? Ah, it's been ages! It's been a long time. Two years, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed, Your Highness. You've grown so much in those years, I hardly recognize you. This is Rob Reek, an old friend of my father's. I believe I've mentioned him, if you recall. When my father died four years ago, he looked after me as though I were his own son. <laughs> you flatter me, Your Highness. It was my honor to care for such a fine young man. It's nice to finally meet you, Professor. My son, Felix, has mentioned you on occasion. What brings you to the monastery, Rodrigue? Is it the thieves plaguing the kingdom? I'm afraid so. This is not merely a problem for House Gautier, but for everyone. The thieves have set up their headquarters in Fraldarius territory, and are mercilessly pillaging the villagers of that area. You have our full support in stopping those dastards. I thank you for your help, both of you. Good of you to come, Professor. I've heard much about you lately. Specifically, that you are able to awaken the sword of the Creator's power. Thusly, it seems the true nature of your crest has been uncovered. I had, of course, seen your crest before. However, at first I failed to recognize its true nature. Eventually, it dawned on me that what is visible is perhaps merely a small part of a greater whole. In other words, your crest is too significant to be detected when using normal instruments. After this discovery, 
I began researching crests that might fit that description, which allowed for a temporary hypothesis. However, I could not be certain. The crest my conclusions led me to was far too unusual. A crest thought to have disappeared from this world in the millennium since the fall of Nemesis, the King of Liberation. The Crest of Flames. That is what you possess. Your ability to wield the Sword of the Creator has unequivocally proven my hypothesis. A legendary power, dormant since time immemorial and now resurrected, there can be no doubt that this ancient power resides within you. It should be in our sight soon, Professor. The abandoned tower those thieves are using as a base. Conan Tower. This area was the site of a massive battle several hundred years ago. That's when invasions from the north were at their peak. Back then, this tower was built for both surveillance and defense. It will be difficult to seize it. You're very well informed, Gilbert. Please, tell us more. Well, I... Ah, you're joking. Professor, did you see the local villages? They were in rough shape. No doubt because of the thief attacks. They're not going to make it through the winter in that condition. If the thieves had taken up pillaging in order to survive, that would be deplorable, but understandable. But this... This is something else entirely. It looks as though they destroyed those villages purely for pleasure. No matter what their reasons may be, that sort of behavior cannot be allowed. Ever. Don't bother losing your head over those lowlifes, your highness. It's wasted effort. Sylvain... The thieves' leader, the one who stole the relic... Word has it, he's your older brother. I know he's been disowned, but... He is no longer a member of House Gautier, or my brother. He's nothing more than a common thief. Are you sure about that? It would be understandable to find the situation... Well, regrettable, to say the least. Regrets? <laughs> You must be joking. You know we're far past the point of regret. And it always falls on the younger brother to clean up the mistakes of their elders, doesn't it? This rain threatens a coming storm. We must hurry and begin our war council before the heavens let loose. Thanks. Thanks. I am grateful. Thank you. The enemy is close by. 
We're almost to the top floor. They are merely thieves, but they have a hero's relic. Do not drop your guard. Don't hold back for my sake. My brother is going to pay for everything he's done. I'll give it my all. Stay focused. I'm on it. I'll go. Ready. Here goes. Thanks. I'll cut through. What should I do? Here we go! Let the lesson begin! As expected. Such power dwells within. Should I have held back? Captain's in trouble. Hurry up, you fools! Enemies approach from the lower floors. Watch the rear flank. Let's think carefully. No hesitation. 
Each battle a chance to grow. What is that?
This is my duty. Proceed with caution. Must stay focused. <laughs> Two cup. My thanks. Each battle, a chance to grow. Thanks. What should I do? As expected. Watch and learn. It's over. Yeah. 
Each battle a chance to grow. Be gone. I like how this feels.
to demonstrate. That is that. Another step forward. Thank you. Watch and learn! You fought well. That is that. our chance. Another win. Stronger, huh? We'll see. Can't afford to lose. Everyone will be so pleased. Chance 
to prevail. All becoming clearer. Should I have held back? I'll have to be clever. Over already. I must keep aiming higher.
I'll give it my all. Doing my part. I'll go. Ready. I did what I had to. Use caution. What should I do? Luck wasn't with you. I will handle whatever comes. Stay focused. Done is done. Whatever you need. We've got to try. Too cocky. No! What's next? I'll tell you what. I'll cut through. Proceed with caution. Careful, please.
怖いぞ。As expected. Should I have held back? It all comes down to this. What should I do?
sufficient. Here we go! Attack them from both sides! It's an ambush! What should I do? Here we go! Ready. Thanks. Thanks! I'll give it my all. I'll go. I'm on it. Here we go! Attack them from both sides! It's an ambush! Stay focused. No hesitation. Each battle a chance to grow. I'll cut through. I must stay focused. I'll give it my all. What should I do? Here we go! My thanks. I'm on it. Ready. I'll go.
Attack them from both sides! It's an ambush! You could win. Here goes! I'm on it! Give it my all. Ready. I'll go. I'll cut through. Here we go. Attack them from both sides. It's an ambush. I cannot lose. Stay focused.
Thanks. Big help. <laughs> Is that all? What should I do? Thanks for that. What should I do? <laughs> Had to be done. I'm on it. Ready. I owe you one. I'll cut through. How this feels. This is my duty. Stay focused. Here goes. Here we go. Yeah. Thanks. I'll give it my all. I'll go. Why am I even here?
two coming. As expected. Each battle a chance to grow.
I owe you one. Why have you come, you crest-bearing fool? I'm here for the Lance of Ruin, Miklon. Hand it over. I don't want to humiliate you, but I will. <sighs> Hurry up and die already. If not for you, if it hadn't been for you... Shut up! I'm so tired of hearing that! You've always blamed me for something that isn't my fault.
Not bad for your kind. A bunch of spoiled, rotten children. Fighting such a thing? Then listen well to what I say. Well, you should be conquering that thing instead of talking to me. If you're out of questions, get over there and fight! So, this is the power of a hero's relic. To create such a sinister beast. It has gone too far. I fear all we can do now is put an end to it.
What is that? It's like watching a bad dream come to life. I'm here to help. Gotcha. For now, I must retreat. I'm here to help. 
couple. Let's turn the tables. Again. Our power is yours. Let's win this already. beast is gone, yet Miklon and the Lance remain. It's over. Let's retrieve the Lance and leave this place. Miklon, my brother. was changed. It was as though that lance was swallowing him whole. Upon that sight, it makes sense that your students were upset. I wonder if those relics truly hide such power. Yet even still, that power seems familiar. That form as well. 
As one who wields the sword of the Creator, does that mean you possess that power too? Professor, you have returned. The Goddess is indeed generous with her divine protection. I have already heard Gilbert's report about what happened. See to it that you keep what transpired at the tower to yourself. People would lose faith in the nobles should rumors spread of one using a relic and transforming into a monster. All regions of Fodland would fall into chaos. We must avoid that at all costs. Please ensure the students who accompanied you understand that as well. Have I made myself clear? His transformation into a black beast was nothing short of divine punishment from the goddess. Punishment for someone arrogant and foolish enough to use a hero's relic even though they were unworthy and unqualified. If someone without a crest were to wield the relic you possess, they would likely meet the same fate as Miklon. You, however, have been chosen. You are worthy of wielding the sword of the Creator, so there is no need to worry. The Church will formally return the lance to House Gautier, if you would. What is the meaning of this? <clears throat> Excuse me. Lady Rhea, I am overjoyed and beyond grateful to you for recovering the relic of my family, House Gautier. Now, may I please have that lance? I have received direct approval from my father to take possession of it. As the next head of House Gautier, do you swear that you will never cause such a deplorable incident to transpire? On my family's name, and on my brother's life, I swear it. Very well. However, I have one condition. You must never allow another to wield this lance. Your brother clearly demonstrated what fate awaits those who break that restriction. Yes. I... I will not soon forget. Is your meeting over, Professor? I was just thinking about something. Professor, the possession of relics and crests has been highly valued in Fargus since ancient times. It's far from uncommon for someone to lose their ability to lead their house because they don't bear a crest. Just like Miklon. It happened to my uncle as well. The eldest child of the king, and yet he never ascended to the throne. All families whose bloodlines carry the crests of the ten elites are much the same. But House Gautier takes it a step further, and absolutely requires an heir who possesses a crest. To that house, the power of crests is a necessity, not a luxury. House Gautier holds the most northern territory in the kingdom, and they have fought with the people to the north for many years. The head of that house is responsible for protecting that territory from fearsome invaders, whom they keep at bay with the power of crests and relics. In exchange for that responsibility, they are granted special privileges within the kingdom. I believe the same. Ability cannot be measured by the possession of a crest alone. I believe that Margrave Gautier was wrong to disinherit Miklon, simply because he did not bear a crest. Still, there is always a reason for why such customs stand the test of time. Imagine what this world would be like if no one placed any stock in crests. Bloodlines that carry crests would dwindle. The metaphorical blade used to oppose threats would eventually rust. <sighs> this same argument has been made time and time again across the years. Both sides are at once right and wrong. I believe those with crests and those without should acknowledge the other's strengths and learn to respect each other based on personal merits. And that doesn't apply only to crests. The same holds true for lineage, race, faith, ideologies. If we could just accept each other and make mutual concessions one step at a time, perhaps... <sighs> Who knows if that's even possible. Everyone has something that is unacceptable within them. I certainly do. And I'd wager you do as well. 
I wonder which is best, Professor. To cut away that which is unacceptable, or to find a way to accept it anyway. Professor, you have done well to complete such a difficult task. You have shown exceptional skill in leading your students. I am forever grateful for the safe return of the hero's relic. Just as I expected, you have mastered the sword of the Creator. <laughs> now then, I shall tell you about your mission for the coming month. Re Archbishop! Seteth, what troubles you? Flane is missing. I cannot find her anywhere. Professor, have you seen Flane recently? I have searched everywhere. Where could she be? She may be in danger. Oh no, 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 what am I to do? Calm yourself, Sedith. Professor, we shall continue our discussion another time.